so much that's happening at the same time. Mm. And I wonder if you ever take a moment to sit back and take it all in, or is it completely lost on you? I'm just grateful. I do not deserve one bit. Hi guys, in this video, Pastor Jerry Eze was so emotional to the extent he was crying and it said everything, everything you need to know about Pastor Jerry Eze, apart from how he grew up and all that, is not in this video, but what has to do with NSPPD is all in this video. Please, I want you to watch to the end. This is well packaged. In fact, you will laugh and you'll be rolling on the ground. I promise you, I promise you. When I watched this video, in fact, I was so happy that I watched it. Guys, I will see you again in my next video. Bye. I'm just grateful and uh, all my days I have vowed to God to keep being this grateful. I do not know that there is anything that God hasn't done. Don't know. I don't know what he hasn't done because what do I say? You know, what do I, you were at the UK prayer conference. So even if I focus on the UK prayer conference, which you highlighted, where has it ever been done? Where has it ever been done that you have over 75,000 persons? You know, who are, who are they coming to see? This boy from Umwa here. Like, this is in the UK. And you don't call them, they are not typically Nigerians. So you say they're from all races. You see whites, you see Indians, you see Asians. And then you're asking yourself, what are why you know i i'm just grateful i didn't know my life would turn out this way i didn't know things will happen you know so you know the thing is that i'm just watching the way you're watching so there's no you know how it is people have plans we're going to do this i don't have a plan i wake up every morning and this is just what i see so i don't have a plan i don't know what i'm going to do I don't know how we're going to do it. So every new year just evolves. You know, right now, I know there are things we want to do, other prayer conferences we want to do. Yes, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't even know. So everyone, as it is coming, would you believe that we made up our minds on the American prayer conference just about the time we were finishing um, the UK prayer conference? So I don't have a plan. So people look at you and they think that, ah, this guy must have everything all planned out. Yes, sir. Even on NSPPD, people think that he knows what we're going to. I don't, I'm, I'm literally clueless most times. Do you know that right on the altar, as we're ending one day, that's when God is telling me what we're going to pray the next day. Wow. It's that, wow. it's that bad. Like, wow. So you don't even know. So as you're saying, when I'm saying, at the point I'm saying, tomorrow on the altar of fire, uh -huh. this is what, so at that moment I am saying it, that is when it is coming. So I am, I'm, this God has helped me. Hi. He has helped me. Think about it. Think about, you sit here like, you know, um, the person caught in the cake. You see, sometimes when you get some calls or maybe you send some messages, initially it seemed to me like it was a scam. You know, initially, you know, people will tell you, oh, um, the, uh, please, uh, uh, the, the, this president, this, that president. Yes, initially you say, it's yes, why you, why you people? But after a while, you know, you just get and say, so it's not why you, Hi. so it's real. So, they, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much, Papa. Thank you so much, Papa. Um, Papa, a man of your standing, surely there are great, powerful men and women coming, knocking on your doors. Please tell us, how do you discern or see through the people to know who should be there for just a moment and who sh you should go through the journey with? Okay, so everybody that knows me knows that I am not, I'm not there for the, I'm not there for the glam. I'm not there for the glaze. I'm not there for the, um, <laughs> okay, so 
a certain powerful man, you know, had said in all his life, he has never heard anyone that he's calling, I'm not picking, he's sending messages, I'm not replying, that nobody in his entire life has read. So I'm saying, it's not because he's you or because he's not you. It's because that if ministry beckons, there are priorities, there are things that we have to do. So you people know me. I have never chased after people. Mm. I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't, I will, God trained me well. God trained me well. Um, and I, I don't know, but I, I'll probably say so much. But let me just, let me just say that. Um, so um, if you're talking about powerful people, those who need to be there, is that not your question? What was that your question again, Adi? How do you discern? How do you discern who should be there for just a moment, just reaching out, and then those who should do journey with you? Powerful people doing journey with me. I don't like. I don't like powerful people doing journey with me because you need you need a lot of. I mean, they come with a lot of drama, right? I know. I would rather want those God will make powerful through me Mm -hmm. than powerful people entering in. So, because you know, when powerful people enter your life, they come with a lot of you know, you know, drama, you know, and all of that. No, I I think that's that's. That's what I want in this season of my life. You know, I just want God help me raise more powerful people. Like there are people right now that are looking at me. In the next few, uh, oh, grab it. Come, you know? <laughs> so, they're they're going to be the powerful people. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So, um, Papa, the church we're in a season of great increase. And um, as God has continued to increase you, continue to increase NSPPD, increase the church, we've heard people make statements such as, you know, what God cannot do does not exist. It's just a phase. It will soon fizzle out. We've heard people say things like that. And truth be told, we've seen some great powerful names fizzle out over time. So my question is, do you have that concern or fear that that could be the fate of what God cannot do does not exist. And is it possible to remain perpetually relevant in God's agenda? Absolutely. I didn't plan to be there. You know how it is that when it is your ambition, yes. like I had an ambition, I want to be great, I want to be known all over the world. I want people, it's, I don't, it's not my ambition. I don't want to be known. Mm-hmm. I should be me and you were in this home. Yes, we were just uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. together here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I didn't have any ambition. He just happened so it wasn't like it was my plan it wasn't like it was my desire mm-hmm. so i'm sorry to put it this way so i i i I'm, i hope it doesn't offend some sensibilities yes, sir. so this is what i'm saying even if it fades yes sir even if i wake up in the morning uh-huh. and then i this whole uh, thing about uh, i fit that's fine i didn't prepare for it right sir even if they chase me out of uh, wherever i am at the moment i will return back here at least uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> we uh, won't chase you anyway. You will not chase me because you are there. So my way of trying to say it is not an ambition. Right. It's not an aspiration. Mm-hmm. I love to work for God. Yes, sir. So what people are seeing, there's nothing that I'm doing now that I've not been doing. Uh-huh. Mm. The only thing is just that the spotlight came on me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Cancers have always been healed yes, when sir. me and you people were here. Yes, sir. Yes, We've yes, always sir. been a praying church when me and you people are here. Yes, sir. It's just that God decided to shine the light. Right. And everybody is saying, so they, they, you should worry for me if I stop doing the things that I am doing that brought me here. Yes, mm. sir. That is when you should be worried that he will soon fade. Right. But all you need to pray for me is God, whatever that he was doing uh-huh. that made you choose him, yes. let him continue to do it, do it. because they are not ready. Hmm. They are not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, Papa, NSPPD, three years and counting. But thank God for the stamina that the Lord has given you. Yes. You know, somebody was saying the other day that he tried to do the kind of prayer he did, and he lost his voice in a few hours. Mm. <laughs> and yes, you do NSPPD from Monday to Friday. Saturday, you walk out. Sunday, you preach services. Please, Papa, I want to ask this question. How do you relax? Do you even relax at all? How do you do it? How do you do it? So, um, I was asking the governor whether he usually rests. <laughs> I was giving him, I was saying, I say, ah, your excellency, try and rest, though. be resting, be resting. 
And then he says, he says something really very funny. And he says, that's the advice that he gives everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, le, let me tell you, Ade. Let me tell you. Yes, Papa. There's a season to sow. Yes, sir. And there's a season to rest. Mm. You see, right now, I've not reached that rest season. So, just be allowing me. Let me be doing what I'm doing. Let me just be doing it. Let me be just a time will come when we'll all rest. If you are worried about my body, don't worry. My body is very fine. Okay. My body is very fine. We I'm, know. I demand agile, you understand? Ah. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, so Papa, we've talked about you know the growth, the increase, the applause, the recognitions. We've talked about that. But um, I believe we all know that there are pitfalls that come with fame and fortune. You know, they call it the three Gs, girls, glory, and something else. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's finance, yeah. there's money. The, yeah. the, the, the three Gs anyway. So I just want to know, what, what mechanism have you put in place to safeguard yourself from moral failure? Okay, so everybody around me knows that if I am not in church, I'm in my house. Okay. If I'm not in my house, I probably am out of the country somewhere I'm preaching. So, and, um, so my, my, my personal staff, uh, there's a level of access I've given them to where I am. Okay. So that way, there's, um, as in, what, what is in the world? <laughs> like, what, is the, what can the devil probably tempt you with? What, there's nothing. Like I said, I'm sorry that I'm repeating myself, but you know how it is when, this was not, I didn't aspire to be all of this. Mm -hmm. I didn't aspire for people to know my name. So I'm not struggling to do anything. I'm not aspiring. What people aspire for, yes, God sir. gives me as a gift. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want to drive this car. I want to drive that car. Someone buys it and gives to you. I want to live here. I want to live here. Someone buys a house and gives you. I want to do this. I want to do that. Somebody, so what am I aspiring for? All I want to be is to be more relevant. I want to give God my life. I want right. to give God my time. So mm. it is not a um so safeguarding myself when it has to be with where I mean where it has that's money, right? When it has to do with pride or maybe arrogance and, and all of that and all that. I have often asked people, how are people proud? I want to know <laughs> how to be proud because yeah. you I don't understand the mechanism of being proud. Do you right. understand? Uh, the only thing I, I would say that I miss about my life right now, I miss talking to people. I miss, I miss gisting. I miss, I like everyday, I like everyday people. I like everyday hang, you know, when you meet uh -huh, people, you uh -huh. just talk. So I'm not hiding. Everyone, I'm just hiding. <laughs> and it's, it's a, that's why I say it's a painful thing. Like, you just hiding. You know, if you are in the, as you're in the airport, you're hiding. Yes, you're hiding. Everywhere you are, you're hiding. You know, mm. that's no life. That's no life. That's no, that's no life, you know, and all that. So, I mean, I, I remember um, one of the few times I had gone, um, I had, I, we had gone to, um, I, was it UK or US? So we just landed at the airport. I was very excited. Uh -huh. So I don't know what my PA was saying, and I was very excited. So I laughed. So, you know, that kind of laughter that, you know, it's been a long while. I said, uh -huh. so I said laughing. But he said, Pastor Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I just... You know, return you back return to the <laughs> <laughs> So, but that's not the life I want. I want to laugh. Uh -huh. You know, there's the laughter my wife and I used to laugh. Yes, sir. So, I want to laugh. I want to be able to, you know, you be happy with yourself, be happy, you know. So, and the kind of things I do here, especially no more hair. Right. So, apparently, when I do it somewhere else, the, people feel that's embarrassed for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they feel embarrassed when they're like, ah. Why is he? Doesn't he know who he is? You know, and all of that. You know, so I will now say, so it should be, I should be behaving like this That's with two right. people and all of that. So, but I, I want my life back. Oh. But unfortunately, I, I can't have it back. And it's bad. I'm telling you, it is bad. When we came to a UK prayer conference, and I had a need to do up my dress, you know, do up a dress I wanted to wear. So we, we went somewhere where we were supposed to do up. That's the mistake I made. That's the mistake I made. It turned to a crusade. Oh. You know, people would just look at, hey, I knew it. I, I knew, knew it. it. God told me to go here. And I, 
and my, I'm not joking. My, 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 my personal staff are here and all that. When we're there, it turned to another thing. From mm. one thing to another. You yourself, a uh, uh, person along, yes, sir. she does uh, um, was Stranger a strange of acts of God every Saturday. How did the people... Uh, even you yourself, you could not move around in the, the UK. Pastor Jerry effect. Yeah. That's the Pastor Jerry effect. You can imagine. Um, uh, Dr. Ogoma could not move. Couldn't move. She was hiding True. because people came after. So, and this is how much, and everywhere she goes, this is exactly what was happening. So, this is now, can you imagine me? So, yeah. but sometimes you want to be, I can't go out. Some days when you say, I want to take a walk. One day I was very bored. I had to tell my I said, please, let me, let me move out. I cannot be, I will not see the sun. <laughs> I no longer see the sun. I said, let me just move out. And as soon as I, I moved out, it, it didn't take long. I just told them, let's go back. Let's go back. back, in. Let's go back. Because, you know, people, I want, I want authentic, you know, saying hi. Yes, you sir. know, as soon as people see, hey, hey, they need down. Speak a word over my life. <laughs> so, you know, so. Oh, my God. It just, it just, it just. Shabi, am I saying too much? No. 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 We love it. You know, Papa, by the reason of Pastor Jerry effect, do you know there was a day I used your name to get a discount on something I wanted to buy? Is that, is that much? Okay, so Papa, by the reason of growth and how far God has brought you, is there anything you look back and you just wished you did it differently? Something, flashback, and you're like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have done it this way. Is there anything like that for you? To be honest, I don't have time to think those type of thoughts. <laughs> no, but honestly, I don't. Have, they, 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 where will I think it? Where will I think it? As I am here now, every month they send SPPD to do. Mm -hmm. People are waiting on you. People are. You don't know how people are addicted to what you're doing. Is it when I'm praying to receive from? Is it in the night when I'm praying to hear from God? Is it when I am trying to look for, prepare for the next ministration? I was telling the leaders all the lineup from uh, from this US. Where, I mean, next week I'm in London. The upper week I'm in the US. The upper one I'm in Switzerland. The upper one I'm in, wow. where, where will I have time? You wow. know, from Kampala to Yaoundé no, and all that. No where do I have time to be thinking about Something what I that... what I will do differently? <laughs> where time for that? Hey. <laughs> Papa, <laughs> you know, Papa, some people, some people are able to impress only from a distance. Yes. You know, when you come close to them, you begin to, you know, see that, you know, they are not, you know, as impressive as you thought they were. But with you, quite sincerely, it's quite different. The closer one gets to you, the more beautiful you are. You know, you begin to see, oh, you know, pastor has leadership skills. Oh, wow, he has great relationships. Oh, wow, you know, he's so excellent. He has great work ethic. It's like you tick every single box. And my question is, what or who do you attribute for just how rounded, how well-rounded you are? Many times you see people are doing well. They are thriving. They are great preachers, but moral failure. They are greedy. There's pride here. There's arrogance. But with you... You're just so well-rounded. Would you attribute it to mentors or your work with the Holy Spirit? What would you say is responsible for this? Okay, every day I feel like I owe God. Okay. I feel like I owe God a lot. I feel like I owe God. Like, you know, when, when I think about how, where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. you know, the, my mother, how I never knew that life was going to turn out the way it did for me. And for every increase in ministry, like, mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm not doing enough for what you're doing for me. So I feel like I owe God, right. you know, and that obviously is what has made me this, you know, persistent, right. you know, with things. However, I must agree that at every season of my life, God has exposed me to things that molded me. Way back, my, my starting off, you know, I thought it was a random decision. BCA many years ago, yes, sir. right? I thought it was one of those random decisions. I was sitting down and I was seeing someone who was uh, doing reading news on television. And I said, I can do better than this person. Uh -huh. And that's how I just went. Next thing, I started reading news on TV. Wow. That was when God was trying to put together my communication skills. So, and then from there, you know, I had to, you know, work to, with um, the, the, the action um, um, at the time, um, HIV AIDS um, um, program development program, which was a World Bank sponsored at the time. 
So, and that also exposed me to development work, as it were. So, and then you just have to know how to dot your I's and cross your T's as it has to do with development work. Then from there, I went to work for the United Nations, UNFPA. So that was almost, that started streamlining my life, more or less. Right. So all of these exposures, right, and then with the people I've met, you know, and all of that, has had a way of just, you know, structuring me into, uh -huh. so I'm here, I'm not doing ministry without structure. Right. I'm not doing ministry without monitoring and evaluating what we're doing. Uh -huh. So we're not, you can't, you can't say, you can't wish things. You can't say, oh, we made this impact. Mm -hmm. Is it measurable? What, I mean, what, what are the next milestones? What are we doing differently? You know, so those are the kind of things God has exposed me to that has helped me shaping the ministry as it were. So, um, so I would say I owe God. That is okay. for the spirituality part. And then I could say also, but I'm also a fast learner. Right. I'm also a fast learner. I try to learn. I learn from everyone. I learn from what you didn't do right. right. And I tell myself, okay, I wouldn't do this this way if it were me. Do you understand? I'm listening to preachers and I'm like, uh, well, I thought that he would have been more, you know, and all of that. Uh -huh. So if you come across as rude, I tell myself I won't be rude. So if you come across as um, endearing, I, you know, just so I, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm a quick learner. I learn a lot. I listen a lot. You know, I would rather listen to what you're saying, you know, and all that. So I, I think my exposures, you know, has, you know, prompted me to becoming who I am today. All right. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Papa. Okay, so Papa, um, now we're talking about both social and physical media now. Um, you know, social media can be a toxic place sometimes. Yes. And then people are, we're living in interesting time where someone will just hide behind one small data and say anything, fallacies. Sometimes it's clickbait for them to just get traffic. You know, sometimes I ask myself, when I see such posts, I want to enter that comment and tear that person because I know they are fallacies. Mm -hmm. But how do you put yourself together and not feel there's need for you to even respond to these things? You know, sometimes it can be, especially for those who are just following, mm -hmm. you know, for people who are in the house, they know better. But yes. people are just following, they may be misled one way or the other. How do you... So initially, you know, when this thing came upon me, I used to be very worried about that. You know, so you wake up and then you just see something that is reported in the media. And then you're telling yourself, but that's not true. That's not true. Why are they doing this? I would call my wife. I say to my wife, what, what, what kind of nonsense? It should be, you know, it's not true. And then I will. So, I mean, there are days I'm, I'm just with my wife. I'm, I'm explaining something and I'm explaining. She, how can they say a thing like this? I mean, you just wake up and you hear Pastor Jerry has this amount of money. He's making it. So if somebody actually says, uh, my YouTube channel, yeah, I'm sure you guys heard it now. Mm. And now you heard it. He say his YouTube channel, he makes how many billion every day? Um, two billion yes. plus. Yes, two billion. Uh, two billion. Like yes. really billion. That's 2,000 wow. million. Yeah. And then that's what someone said. And then everybody, I heard it. People wanted the share of their money. <laughs> So, and then you just, and then you listen and say, but this thing you're saying doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. So, you have those people who are there, and then you have the people who just can cut lies from nowhere. And uh, you have people who have perceptions of mm -hmm. how Pastor Jerry should behave. They have perceptions. So, Pastor Jerry, if you are a righteous man, yes. like the way we want mm -hmm. you to behave, sure. don't talk to anybody that is unrighteous. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to anybody that is unrighteous. And all that. I mean, a few days ago, I mean, I mean, I, I had I had shared a picture of, um, you know, the governor and I, and someone just, you know, <laughs> went. And next thing I saw it on a blog and all that. Pastor Jerry starts moving with politicians. Ah. You know? <laughs> so once you put drop my name, it will get traffic. Mm -hmm. So people just get traffic and all of that. So there's one that yesterday I told my wife that they saw prophecy on her. You know, and, and, and it's online. So people wake up, they drop this one, they drop. But listen, I am not like a few things I will continue to do. Huh. I'm not afraid and ashamed of sinners that call me pastor. Right. Mm. I will never deny that God brought them to me so that they can be better people. Mm. So, and just in case you're too holy to go near sin, we are the ones that God has 
made so that we can go there and speak to them. Right. And so I'm not threatened by so so I'm not that kind of pastor that you say you see your member your member was caught uh, whatever and all of that. As much as I'm going to rebuke, of course. You guys know me when I'm one on one. I'm not laughing. I will yank, I will shred you and all that. But you know what? I'm going to move out of there and call you my own. I will not be ashamed to identify with you because everybody is a work in progress. People are getting better. People are getting, because that's what it is. So they're just some, all of this narrative is just. Sometimes when the bloggers report it, they report it that Pastor Jerry should not talk to this person. Pastor Jerry should have nothing to do with it. This person is an actor. This person is an actress. Pastor Jerry should never have anything. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Or you look up to them. You call them your influencers. Uh -huh. Whatever they do becomes a trend for you. And you think Jesus does not need those kind of people mm -hmm. so that they can do influencing for the kingdom. Yes, mm -hmm. Now nah, cool, low down. <laughs> Please help me look at your neighbor and say, I'm in the right place. Okay. So, Papa, you started um, ministry so, so early. Mm. And um, quite sincerely, your accomplishments don't measure up with your years. Just like streams of joy, the much God has done through us doesn't measure up with the amount of years that we've been around for. So, I don't know, what advice do you have for ministers or just people that see you know, the feats and what you've been able to accomplish, but feel like they've run, they, they're starting out too late in destiny. They're behind time. And, you know, they are inspired, but they're just not motivated to move because they feel it's already sunset. What if I told you there was a time I felt like nothing was happening to me ministry-wise? Mm -hmm. You know how it is that you get to that point where I've done this. You know, I was still going for ministrations, right? Mm -hmm. They would invite me a couple, go to Lagos, go to Abuja. Something in me was just telling me, you... You ought to be more than this. I was in that space, you know. I remember one day um, waking up after my night prayers. I pray in the night and I woke up. I just felt dissatisfied. I just felt dissatisfied, you know, and I'm just coming and on all that. And you know that this church is a training ground. Yes, this, this place is, you yes, guys sir. trained me. Mm. You guys, you know how it is. In this church, is, you people are hard to impress. Very hard <laughs> to impress. People, so you are here preaching. Somebody will just be saying, be coming down, be <laughs> coming down. So every of these things formed a training ground for right. me. And um, for whatever it is worth, um, I also went through a season of dissatisfaction. So when people are seeing it right now, but know what I did? I converted my dissatisfaction to a season of laboring in the spirit. Mm -hmm. A season of laboring because God will create the opportunity right. but is are you ready for the, for the opportunity and the thing also what people don't understand is that I had the opportunity of watching an NSPPD of um, that was in 2020 you know how Facebook just does those reminders yes, of 2020 and I, it was the one I did with Pastor Oguru you know and all of that and I realized how much we've grown mm. I, I realized how much NSPPD have grown but there are people who are on the altar. The day you stop growing is the day people stop following you. Yeah. So most persons are following you because all they see is growth. Mm -hmm. Did you understand? So, and for me, it is that persistence to continue to follow through because at some point, you know, it definitely has a way of paying off. Thank you, Papa. Um, as pastors, leaders, workers, and members, how do we lighten this load of responsibility off you? Like, what can we do better? What are your expectations from us? I'm talking about Jerusalem now. What are your expectations from us? What do we need to do better to make the work easier? Not making the sacrifice lighter, but just making the work easier. What do you expect of us? Pray for me. Always pray for me. Always pray for me. Wish wish me well become more and i want like i'm excited to know that from this house you know we've sent our pastors you know everywhere and i want to see people become more you know this is a season where we have a lot of plantings to do around the world um we were praying for it we we're praying for a time where our church will be able to um take pastors you know overseas to pastor because of the greater and we kept praying for have to have to get the license both in the 
in the U.S. and in Canada, you know, and all that. We kept praying, and God did all the paperwork. The interesting thing is that this 2023, everything has worked out. So, but you want to know that I am sending someone who has my spirit. You want to know that I'm sending someone who understands. So, the harvest is truly plain to us. So, we have abroad, like you have a lot of people in Philadelphia, in, um, what's it called, and in, um, what's the, to other places. We have people who have donated church buildings to us, but there is no pastor. Do you understand what I'm saying? There is no pastor. So, we have all the things coming up. So, I just believe it's an interesting time that God has brought us to to be able to do these things, you know, and all of that. So pray for me. Become more. Become more. At some point, stop playing with them. Um, you just know that life is more serious than this. Become more because there would always be an assignment for the person who has become more. Wow. 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 <laughs> Please, let's celebrate our man of God. Let's celebrate him. Okay. So in, in conclusion, you said a little bit of this, but I just want to take us back a little you know, um, while we are grateful to God for church growth mm. and we understand the assignment of God on your life, I just want to know, do you still miss us? Yes. Because, you know, many times we see your pictures online, you're just laughing with Abuja people. <laughs> you know, you're you dancing, <laughs> you're, you're dancing. Am I lying? No. He's... he's and you know, we had such an intimate bond. Uh, we started out us. together. <laughs> and um, we just wonder, do you miss us? Do you love, love us? Both. Do you think of us as much as we think of you? Am I echoing your thoughts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite emotional for me. <laughs> it's quite emotional for me. The truth is, I, like I said, everybody is new. Everybody is new. And the truth is that let me tell you, um, it's meant to be ministry, but unfortunately, it's adversity. And I wish I could further break it down. It's meant to be ministry. People should be able to see that's a new guy that has come, and they will celebrate. If you knew, 70% of the battles I've had to fight, I'm fighting through fellow ministers. So people believe, why did he come here? My people have left my church. Everybody is now going to streams of joy, Abuja. What's going on? Why are they maxing out numbers this way? Why are they doing this way? Why? Do you know we literally, we literally had to leave where we were, with no warning, with no. And then when we we saw that there were some undertones because they knew the powers that be at the time, we were chased out. Adversity everywhere. Wow. So you don't even know people. God provided for us where we were. We moved in there. The numbers are increasing, swelling wow. numbers. But I mean, yeah. how do you, how do a church that is barely two years and then you have, I mean, over 20,000 members? Wow. So it doesn't wow. even make sense. The crowd, I mean, it's bad. Everybody who is in Abuja knows that it's, it's bad. Doors have been broken. You know, what is waiting, they're waiting for us to, if we increase the tent, we get new tents. Bigger tent, everywhere is maxed out. Right now, there's no even space to put tents that people can stay in. So God is doing a work. The work is increasing. And I want you to know that my heart looks for moments where you know that this person is really your person. This person is your person. You know, and all that. Some of them send their people to look for spoilers or to be the spoilers so that there will be, what if I told you? That most of the things that you let me not say it. Let me just let me let me just you like gossip. I will not say it. <laughs> so I mean it's it's been it's been a battle. So I've had to fight too many battles. My wife knows. So it's not like he, you know when I when people say he's enjoying, he's having a great time, many times I cry. Aww. Many times I say to myself, if they know that I don't even want to be here. If they know that I don't, I don't, I don't want, I just wish I can just leave this thing for them, leave this uh, 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 city for them. And when we had to shift, when we had to, if you put notice, when we had to shift venue from one, I told my wife, I'm not staying. I told my wife, I'm not staying. I'm not ready for this. This wala is too much. I told my wife, I'm not staying. She said she will go. She said she will go. I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not staying. 
I think my wife, I'm not staying for this. It's, it's a, there's a whole lot. I said, let me, let me come to Umoha. She said, I'll, I'll, I'll be in Abuja that time. And then she was in Abuja. So I didn't want to. So I wasn't there for the transition. I wasn't there. Am I correct? Yes, I wasn't there for the transition because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know whether people... So from there, she was giving me updates. She said, ah, that's it. Do you know that new people are coming here because they said that this place is now closer to them? That, ah, I said, ah, it have been better you came back and I went to. <laughs> <laughs> so my way of trying to say that this is where the love is. This is where the, uh, you know, the genuineness is. I am, before you go, I say I said so. I have, I have, the love is there as well. The love is there. Yeah. The, your, that's why I'm saying that the first love never die. I know. So I, the, the, and I love, I love. This will always be the house. This will always be the people. This will always be the, you know, but you see, eh, let me tell you people something. Should I tell you the way I feel? You know, I want you people to appreciate what you have. Oh. It's not with mouth. Do you understand? It's not with mouth. Appreciate what you have. Appreciate what you have. You see those guys? Those guys? Those guys? They appreciate what they have. Don't let me start, though. Don't let me start. Don't let me. No, but you need to understand. Like, I have a couple of my people who are going to be inaugurated on Monday, you know, in different uh, works that they are going to be doing for the federal government. I mean, a couple of my people who are, are members of our church who have been made ministers. Do you know, all of the efforts they are making is to make sure my pastor is around. My, all of this one, that one, that one, that one. But you people that are here, who know one? People should appreciate me. Appreciate me very well. Appreciate me. Because, you know, I, the thing is that, Every leader wants to have fond memories of the people that they were. I don't, you don't want to know that what you remember is the times that these guys weren't there. These guys weren't there. You know, my family and I have sacrificed everything. Yes, sir. We have sacrificed, when I mean everything in capital letters, to make sure that this work thrives. Yes, sir. We've sacrificed everything. Every, anyone who thinks about themselves must have put themselves first and all of that. But let me also uh, say this. Be excited that the work is increasing. Be excited that the work is increasing. We may not, I may not promise, um, promise anything, right? Because the work is increasing. We're getting bigger. We're getting bigger. So... You may not get you may not get this feedback over here. <laughs> but the thing is that you must always understand that the work is increasing. I mean, it, I, I hope you know that Lagos is coming. Yes. And yes. And it's going to be a case of island and mainland at the same time. So and this is it's just going to keep happening. Here and there and all of that. So, I just want you to bear. It's our season. And we are maximizing the moment. Absolutely. It's our season. So, Streams of Joy is number, numbering in thousands in different places. So, please, I beg you, bear with us. Bear with me. Bear. You are born, no? And I thank God for all that you are doing. So, God bless you and God honor you. And the thing is that, you know, we're very excited. You know, we are... I mean, it's always good to say, you know, the, the thing is that, oh God, I have a lot of things to say. Let me stop at that. Amazing, 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 amazing. Please give Jesus a round of applause. This is BOD TV Board. In case the first time you come here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more uploads.